Now it's Friday, so that means it's time to see what's been going on in the world of showbiz. First up, Jane McDonald was singing to that. Oh, wow. and, on, <laughs> and online poll has revealed the most iconic outfits of the last 50 years. The top three include Jerry Halliwell's Union Jack dress, worn at the Brit Awards in 1997, Liz Hurley's safety pin Versace number that she wore for the four weddings and a funeral premiere, and Marilyn Monroe's white halter neck frock, famously blown around in the seven-year mm. itch. But do you agree with those findings, or are there other dresses that you can think of that are iconic? Um, well, I think that the first two, the Jerry Halliwell dress and the, the uh, Liz Hurley dress, are, I don't think they're necessarily iconic. I just think they are the most uh, famous, you know, the most photographed and most mm. pictured dresses of their time. I think Marilyn Monroe's dress did actually inspire dresses like that. You know, I, I, don't, I didn't see a lot of people walking around in safety pin mm. dresses after Liz <laughs> Hurley, but that was the kind of... Um, it was pictured so much that it became so famous. It was just a famous dress. Yeah. But I think, I think, more importantly, something like a Chanel suit mm. is something that is seriously yeah. iconic and it's still around and I think I think um, Coco Chanel designed that probably in about the 1920s or 30s and you know people who buy them they only need to buy one yeah. and as long as you can still get into it I know they exactly. cost a lot of money I'm, you know they're thousands of pounds but they're just yeah, so Jackie beautiful. Every yeah, year yeah. has somebody in one hasn't they? It's, but, yeah. but for me it would have been um, in a sense, Mary Quant, because I was, you know, that was my time, the 60s. Mm. Uh, and I remember, you know, that whole A-line dress with the asymmetrical and her hair yeah. the way it was. And they were very, very short and I could never wear them because I never had the pins for them. But, you know. They've got great well, they have. Better. well, they've got better since I've got older. But, I, I, but it was weird to see everybody walking down the King's Road with these really, really short yeah, dresses short yeah. on. It was amazing. Yeah. I suppose, you know, in terms of iconic dresses, you know, they talk about the Chanel one, you know, there's the Audrey Hepburn little black dress mm. I mean she was the one who the sort of the, exactly there you go that picture there yeah. or even Grace Kelly's wedding dress you know, we, we sort of think about the the, the princess look but it, it kind of I think it sort of started with her really it was yeah. such a oh. Graceful, elegant, Gorgeous. beautiful yes. look. Mm. Well, so, oh. You see, I, I like the curve. I like to celebrate women. I think the 50s were great because you used to be really like Marilyn Monroe, Jane Russell. They had the, the just beautifully oh, that fitted. Looks yeah. That's the one. Well, oh, oh, well, she's nearly got ready there. <laughs> <laughs> In fact, that does look like me on a good day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's it's awesome. Awesome. yeah. yeah. I have but got did, a look you, of Jane Russell. did you notice what her hair looked like, though? Because uh, Cheryl Colt, this might be a cliche, but she might be onto something. Because during a recent interview, she was asked whether she used beauty as a confidence trick. And she replied, Well, you always feel good once you've sprayed your hair. The higher the hair, the closer to heaven. It's true. If I could have it higher, I would. Close quotation mark. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but do you think that's true, Jane? Because, you know, you, you like having big hair. I love big hair. And, and I know it sounds awful, but I actually miss the perm. I miss that big... <laughs> I, I know! I really you still have oh. them, you know. Because there was, there was always loads of hair, and, and I used to love that. It's like a mane. And, and obviously, sometimes, even on this show, but on my own concert tour, my hair has got its own postcode. It's that big. <laughs> <laughs> because you I, have I, had big. I love big your hair. hair is so big. Yeah. And I don't. I don't actually trust people with really big hair. Oh. <laughs> I don't. I don't. You know. Why? Well, because one of my favourite shows on telly is Nothing to Declare. Have you ever seen it? Yeah. It's about you know the Australian immigration and the border customs. controls they have. Yeah. And last night I was watching it last night, or maybe it was the night before, and there was this woman on there, and she had really, really big hair. She well, had like a wig Marge on. Simpson hair. Well, it was obviously a wig, and it was, like, red, and it was really high, re and it didn't look quite right. And one of the officers said, there's something about her hair, there's something not quite right about her hair. And they went for a suitcase, like they do with the scanner, and they found traces of cocaine, and actually she had two kilos of cocaine hidden <laughs> in her wig. <laughs> she did! Honestly, so, I, you know, anyone with big hair, I'm like, ah, <laughs> what you got in there? <laughs> you know, but you know what she's saying, which I think is right. I think hair, as much as anything, if you're having a bad day, hair is one thing you could, you really notice, and it can change what you look yeah. like in an instant. If it's flicking up when it should be turning under, when it's, you know, and if you're feeling a bit 
nervy and tense. If the hair's wrong, it becomes yeah. complete obsession. So hair, that's I think so she's right. right. That's you know, so right. And mascara, if you've got nothing else on, I think, and you're, and you're not feeling it, just <laughs> even, and that's all, <laughs> yes, and your mascara, and you pop out, it's marvellous. <laughs> 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 No, I know what you mean about the hair. My mum was always pinning me down and perming my hair because it looks a wee bit lank. Oh. Your hair's looking awful lank. Oh. Finally, that means flat, by lank. the way, for people who aren't yeah. Scottish. Uh, finally, Simon Cowell revealed to Oprah Winfrey that he fears he's too old to have children at the age of 50. He also told the US chat show queen that he might not have the patience for a child unless, and I quote, they were born aged five. But is Simon right, Carol? Um, no, they're much better when they're about 28, actually. <laughs> um, no, no, I, I do think he's right, actually, because, you know, it's not that I dislike ch babies or children, but I do find babies a little bit boring. When someone shows you their baby, you just, it, you go, yeah. It's a baby. What does it do? It doesn't do anything. It's not, you can't talk to it. You can't say it. You can go, cool, and that's it. You know, so I do think that kids are much more interesting when you can have a conversation with them. By the time, you know, they're sort of four or five, Yes, I absolutely agree no, with just, Simon you know, on that. Yes, I've got to disagree, because uh, our guitarist in the band, Steve, and his lovely wife, Carrie, they've just had Ruby, uh, Ruby Cooper, oh, she's called. Name. What a great name. Oh, a good she's name. seven months old, and I swear I could have eaten her when I saw her. She was just gorgeous. And I just thought it was great, because she was looking up, she was looking around, she was interested, and she didn't have a conversation, and I quite liked that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <'Cause>, <laughs> Exactly. No, I'm three year old. And honestly, when they start talking, you don't want that. Because oh, you don't no, have a conversation, it's just no, I won't. <laughs> you don't, because you have it all the time. And that's Steve, her husband. <laughs> <laughs> The best time, I think, about a year when they just love you and they I just know. look up and they hold your finger and they, it's just love, love, it's overwhelming. And now, at 27 and 22, I can be seen chasing after my sons going, just hold my finger. <laughs> <laughs> and they look behind them and they go, Pfft. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, we're taking our final break, but on our...